Okay, so you want to have a look at your breather to see if it's clean or not? Well, there's a strap down in there that you got to unhook, and one on the other side. And then you got to push this back a bit and pull it out this way. And you got to unhook the, uh, the box that goes on top here, I forget what it's called. And then it just pulls out like that. Now putting this back in is probably going to be a bit of a pain. But we're going to give it a shot anyway and we're going to check inside here and see how clean this is. Because we want clean air going through. So we'll just check the filter and see what it looks like in there. And by the looks of things, the only way to do that is to pull this apart. So, I'm going to make some strips of plastic to slide in under these, 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 underneath these little grooves here so that everything slides back a little easier right in there. I'll show you what it's like when I get it done. But this is what it looks like when it's in place. I just cut a strip, cut a point on the end of it, slid a screwdriver underneath it and then slid it in between the screwdriver and the other piece of plastic that I'm trying to unhook. There you go. So I just got about 10, 15 more to go. <laughs> so there we go. I just used a cover off of a, a screw container. I just got a whole bunch of little pieces. I stuck them in underneath the tabs. Then I stuck a screwdriver in here and just started prying it out and it's all falling out. Very nice. Nice and easy. Okay. Okay, here we go. She slid open real nice. And here's what we have inside. And it looks like a sponge filter in there. It looks to me like that should be changed. They make it very difficult for you to get in there and change this thing. I don't know why. But anyway, that's how she comes out. And I guess there's different places where you can put it. Why? Anybody knows? They can leave a comment. That's where she was, right in there. There's three spots it can go in. Looking at this filter, it looks like she's pretty dirty. Let's see if we can clean that up a bit, put it back together again. I'm not sure that filter is doing anything. Hmm. Air flows right straight through it. I have no clue. That's odd. Catches the dirt before it gets to the flutes. Oh. There you go, that's what's in there anyway. Wow, well, here I am thinking that you got to keep the dirt out. Well, it's winter time. I don't think you're going to get much dirt in there. Maybe it's just to keep the snow out. So there you go. And a little dirt goes through though, you can see some dust. Not so sure anything has to be changed there at all. I think I'll just put her all back together again. Leave her the way she is. Okay, there we go. We got the breather back in again. It was quite a challenge getting it in there. Gotta watch out for hoses and things. Make sure that the carburetors are actually in line with the rubber grommets or whatever they're called, boots. And she's all back together. Now I guess it's time to start working on this side over here and getting my gearbox all back together again. Yeah, make some more videos of this. Okay.